Welcome back everybody, this is M-Dog, and we are at the new lake, and going to do a little trolling here. I've actually got a lot of my carp equipment is being repaired at Volkov, putting some of that new expensive grease on there, see if that'll pay off in the long run in terms of wear and tear, and doing a couple other repairs here and there to some of the reels and rods. Spent a good bit of silver. So um, we'll see how that goes. But I wanted to try trolling. I, so from what I've seen, it seems like these two squares here have maybe been the um, some of the more popular places to troll here recently. So we're going to basically just head yeah, east from here. We'll start trolling. We've got pretty good weather, all things considered. And uh, we are going to use a lot of the weeklies are showing the handmade balsa crank. So we're going to try that on two rods. And we will still use the balsa minnow 002, similar colors, on the second rod. And this is our little Tama Sal. And then once again, the 65-00F, sorry, 65F-002 handmade balsa on this one as well. So we're going to do a little trolling here, three rods. See, see how um, the bite rate seems. My one thing with, uh, with this map so far has been, even though the silver ends up being pretty decent on a slow day, of trolling, the slowness of it is just sort of frustrating. So let's see what this uh, what this ends up seeming like. Got a little bit of a late start, about you know 6:30 a.m. We started trolling, so didn't hit that first 5 a.m. 4:30, 5 a.m. when I'd have liked to, but we're close. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how far into the day. Maybe we'll troll the whole day. Maybe part of the day. We'll just see how it goes. All right. First activity on the middle rod, which don't mind seeing that. This is what we're after. Any of the salmon would be our priority, I guess. It's a good start. Again, don't mind seeing that at all. The Atlantics or the Ladoga salmon would be a good way to spend the day. If we can catch a few of those, make a little silver. So we're kind of staying up in the sort of consistent depth, you know, this little uh, shelf here. And then again, we're going to go over here to this shelf as well. That's what we're going to try. We're going to see if either or both of those seem to produce many bites for us, many fish. And uh, we're going to hope for the best. Curious how people are doing. It looks like it's been a pretty good week for the salmon. Um, so I hope that you will share your experiences, uh, in the comments. I do want to try to get back maybe to some carp fishing later tonight. If, uh, if I'm around long enough and everything gets repaired at Volkov, uh, that's one reason why I went ahead and started it because I knew another bite on this rod. I think I'm just going to check the other two, make sure something small isn't on either one. But thought, hey, let's go ahead and spend a little bit more time trolling. Uh, because for some of those repairs, it's um, like 180 hours, 189 hours. Which, of course, you know, you got to be logged in for all of those. Um, so that's, you know, multiple in-game days. So multiple real hours of needing to be logged in to get those repairs done so you know we'll just have to see I mean I can just kind of have it logged in in the background but if I work on a leveling video I'll have to be logged out during that so we'll see I, I, I don't know if we'll get those repair back repairs back tonight or not but whenever I do get them back I'll probably start the next carp fishing video with me resetting up the newly repaired carp rods and reels 
And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Which is kind of my favorite thing to do in this game, is the carp fishing, if I had to pick one thing. Uh, but I don't mind something like this every once in a while. Uh, I just wouldn't want to do it for long. I, I don't think I could, you know, grind it out. So one thing we might want to think about right now is why are we getting so many more bites on the middle rod? I mean, I get that the second rod, I mean, the one to the right has a different lure. But we're getting... Um, just so much more activity. So what size hooks do we have? We've got size one hooks. So that might be part of it if the other one has larger hooks. Should have a 27.7 liter on both. Uh, we do, let's see what size. And it's a one aught, so it's slightly bigger, but I'm kind of okay with that. Maybe that's why this one's a little more active, the hook size difference. But, I don't know. I think the bite rate's been good enough on the middle rod to at least sort of have the appearance of a decent bite rate, but really it's all been pretty much, ooh. All right, we're gonna go ahead and position ourselves because this might be, we might be doing circles around this guy. Maybe we do wanna decrease the hook size on the other lure. If we're catching um, this size fish on large one hooks, then I'm kind of okay with that. Got to be really careful here not to turn off the trolling motor. We want to at least have the ability as we're trolling to head in the direction that the fish is swimming if it does start to spool us, which right now it, I thought it popped off. Right now it's just basically gone deep. It hasn't, hasn't gone away from us very quickly, but it has gotten some depth. But yeah, once you turn the trolling motor off, if it's in your third, if you're fishing with three rods like this, if we were to turn the trolling motor off, then we would suddenly not, we wouldn't be able to turn the trolling motor back on because we've got something in our hands, namely the third rod. So it's a little riskier to troll with three, but this is one of our larger leaders. It's a 27. The hope I've got at least is that we'd be able to survive. We'd be able to chase stuff around as long as we don't mess up and turn the trolling motor off. And this one actually appears to be coming in now. Oh, I think we have another fish on. Yeah, we do. So yeah, if we can go ahead and get this guy in, it would be nice. So you may hear the line getting pulled out a little bit on the other rod, but I almost guarantee you the friction brake's pretty low. And so that could be why not because it's a big fish or it's doing a lot of damage to the reel it's just the friction brake might be set to pretty low we'll see i'm going to focus on this fish this is a decent fish so we just focus this fish till we either get it in or don't get it in and then we'll worry about what's going on on the other lines seems like it's been a long time since I've been trolling and gotten on a fish like this. I 
I am I am trusting that this is not like a big trophy pike or something. We probably would have already lost our our lure with these fluorocarbon leaders. Let's see if we can just get him coming our way and keep it oof. You don't want that slack to stay in the line very long. It's definitely when they will pop off. It's been a nice little fight though. Well, we don't want to drive right on top of it. I want to try to stay right to the side of it here. I guess the other possibility that you hope is not the case, I guess, but it could be a small sturgeon. <laughs> there are sturgeons in these waters, right? But the way it's shaking its head and kind of changing direction some, I think it's a salmon. I think we're on some kind of salmon. What kind of fish was that that we caught in Florida? Do you remember what it was called? <laughs> I don't either, and, it's, and I've said it's my favorite type of fish to catch. It wasn't snook, right? Was it Snook? Well, we've got our energy back. That might be helping a little bit. It also just seems to be getting a little tired. Tarpon, yes, thank you. That's the only thing that would make this place better is if they had some tarpon. I can't really tell where the fish is. I think I'm on top of it a little bit. It's also just very close, right? Let's see if we can lift it out. He's still fighting. I mean, he's still like pulling, just not enough to pull the, the line out anymore, it appears. It's going to be a little scary. Like all of a sudden some head's going to, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's a salmon, right? It was a salmon. I'm tempted to turn the trolling motor off now so we get a little, I think I will, so I can stand up and get a little bit more, ha, he just waited for me to do that so he could take off. Well, if the fish is able to spool us from here, then... He deserves to get away when we had him that close to the boat. I, 
mean, this is a heck of a fight. Could put the anchor down, but I think we're fine like this. I guess technically this is fresh water, so tarpon probably wouldn't make it here. Is this fresh water? I mean, it's a lake, so I guess it is fresh water. It is a big lake, though. I thought we had... Yeah, we've got a fish on both other lines. But neither one seemed to be pulling line out right now. Yeah, I could tell he, you know, when we had him that close to the boat. The way he was fighting, I could tell he was not tired yet. I mean, this is... This is still an active fish. He seems tired now. All right, nice Atlantic. What a fight. Uh, yeah, we just had the friction brake pretty low on that one. No telling where we are on the map after all that. Oh, that's a pike that whole time. Color us lucky. Ooh, Xander.
All right, see where we are. Oh, actually, we're not bad. We must have just been doing circles. Okay. Wow. Oh, wait. Are we going the wrong direction? We are. Okay. And we have a fish on. It's a smelt. Yeah, we want to be going east. Let's get over this like middle section and get into that next area. See how it goes over here. It's actually pretty good in this section. Uh, we had some nice fish. Spent a long time chasing that, the one salmon. For sure. So I just want to make sure I close the bale. I know I left it open to get a little bit more of the line out. Yeah, it was closed. Okay. like urban koi recent member uh, person joining our in-game chat welcome i like that name urban koi at the same time both lines it's kind of interesting now this one definitely has the smallest leader on I believe this leader side is only 23 so if we're gonna get in trouble on a line it could be this one
This one over here has another little fish on. The bite rate is slow enough to use three rods. I mean, I, you know, and, and, and in fact, the bite rate is better than it's ever been for, for me here, but it's still slow enough that having three rods in seems justified, uh, as long as you're willing to take the chance of getting, you know, potentially into a little bit of trouble on that third rod if the wrong fish hits at the wrong time. But it's typically okay until it's not. So we'll kind of get up to the top here and then probably just flip around. Go right back over the same space if there's still time left in the day. So how long was how large was that um, salmon? Sixteen point. So you know, imagine a uh, a thirty kilo. How long we'd be chasing him around? He would just be straight up, you know, pulling line for a while, and we'd hope to keep up with him. We'd just be hoping. How long has it been since we caught a fish? Just two minutes, okay. Felt a little longer than that, but it's not too bad. There we go. going to stop the trolling motor but I think we can just pull this one straight in this is our new cardinal oh wait how do I hold on let's see if I can remember how to do this I can't oh there we go all right change that gear ratio oh yeah look at that he's got no chance now that we've changed the gear ratio that's a pretty nice looking Xander isn't it yeah I like this cardinal a lot. All right, yeah, we'll flip around soon. Not quite yet, but soon.
Your hand was almost on the video, but not quite. <laughs> Good job. You did well, love. All right, yeah, we'll flip around just a minute here. We're kind of out of that 18. Let's go ahead and flip. Oh, we got a fish on anyway. We'll start spinning around while we're getting this fish in. Oh, pretty fish. Pretty fish. been a little bit since we caught a fish on this line so it's good to see another one those Ladoga salmons are pretty fish I really like catching those so right up here at the top and you know it could be the change of time as well time of day but we've hit some nice uh, a nice bite rate up here there's no question All right, so let's see here. No bites yet. I like it when it hits the one we're holding. It just looks cool. Look at those nice fish, though. I'm really impressed with the the work they did on the art or the the look of the Ladoga salmon. I think it looks really good. What is this little little shiner? Hey, if it's got to be that small, might as well be a marker smelt, right? All right, are we pretty are we lined up pretty good? Yeah, we are. Yeah, I don't know. I might put three of these instead of having that other. I, I don't know. I always like having some diversity in the lures we're using. I tend to own, the most I tend to do is two of the same one. I don't even love doing that, but look like that this this lure has been doing so good this week i felt like a it's worth trying it but and again this is as good a day as i've ever had trolling the new map i mean some of you have probably done way better i understand that in the um grats on level six by the way urban koi i understand that in the first couple days when this map was out folks were uh were killing it um I wasn't here for that, so I don't I don't know. So for me, this is about, about as good as I've ever done here. Hmm.
I'm going to go ahead and stop, stop the trolling motor so we're not adding to the problem here. There we go. Oof. Big pike. I'm glad we still have our lure. We'll just get a couple more minutes in here. Once it's overnight hours, we'll wrap this video up. But this has been really fun. And uh, it's good to know I've got something pretty fun and worthwhile to do if I want to do something else while waiting on the all the repairs I've got going at Volkov right now. Got the two shot here, the double shot. I think at this point it would be cool, especially on like a nice boat like this. So expensive. I think it'd be cool to just go ahead and throw on a third rod holder. It, it, you know, then you'd feel like, okay. Yeah, the boat's expensive, but we can safely fish with a whole nother rod without having to worry about getting stuck with the trolling motor on or off or whatever. Or off you don't get stuck with it on but you know what I mean I think that could have been a cool addition but I don't know that lures done part done pretty good I think overall I guess technically it's evening, but it's early evening. I mean, we still could get a couple more, a couple more fish here if we get lucky before the real overnight hours set in. And I'll just re-log real quick so we can see if we made any silver on the day, but we'll do okay. We will certainly pay for our boat ticket.
suddenly got real late. All right. Let's don't try to catch a water body of catfish here. We'll um, wrap this up just a minute. We'll first go check out the cafe and the fish market. The moon does look pretty. All right, let's head on in. It's, uh, what, 10.40? Completely dark, pretty much. All right, one second. Okay, cafe first. Although, let's see what it would have been worth without cafe. I mean, there's probably not a cafe. Oh yeah, 385. That's a good day for me here. That is a really good day. All right, so we've got, ah, uh, you know, we'd eventually get there on the smelt maybe. But besides that, we got nothing. I don't think I've caught a char here yet. Probably just not not fishing in the right spots or with the right baits potentially. I still haven't tried drifting here. But 385, how much was the big boy? Yeah, almost 100 silver just in the one fish. But we'll take 385 all day any day, right? All right, cool. There you go. Thanks for watching Tight Lines everybody. Um I will see you later on. Till next time.